the one, the only, Ben Seal. Good afternoon and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Ian with Ben Seal. And today's daf is Masechus Kitten and Daf Ayin Ches, number 78. Um, the Gemara, <coughs> starting from the Mishnah on the bottom, Ayin Ched, Ahmed Aleph, talks about the case of Karov Lo and Karov Law. He throws a get. Into not into her hand, even though it says Vinasam Yadi has to be put in her hand. If he throws it into her Rishus, we learn in the Mishnah, in her lap, in her basket, it works. And this Mishnah introduces the idea of Karovla. If it's close to her, it works. Now, what does it mean, Karovla? There's different explanations in the Gemara. The most prevalent explanation is that it falls in her Dalad Amos, which is outside his Dalad Amos. If that happened, that's a Gerishin, because Dalad Amos shall Adam Konoslo. We learn that. In Masechah Bab Metziah, but also Masechah Shabbos in Arabic, and we know there's a concept Havaras Dalat Amos Sharabim that's based on some Rishonim explain the reason that if you carry Dalat Amos because your Dalat Amos is your Rishus, if you carry more than Dalat Amos, you're taking it out of your Rishus. It's like taking from Rishus Yachid to Sharabim. If you carry from your four Amos to another four Amos, it's taking from one Rishus to another Rishus. So that would be the the Tolda of of Havaras Dalat Amos Sharabim. Right? We know by Tchumin, right, that Dalat Amos of a person is Kono slow. Um, to make a tchum for uh, a person, if he's outside the tchum, if he's in within his Dalat Amos, he can make a tchum for 2,000 Amos in certain instances of Masechus Erevin. So your Dalat Amos are your, are your area. We also learned in Masechus about Metzia that Dalat Amos is Kona and Hefker and Metzia, and if it lost the object, and you enter the Dalat Amos first. The Gemara is pretty clear in Masechus about Metzia that you're Kona. Now, the problem is, is that most opinions hold it's Dera So how does it here? This Mishnah seems to say it's Del Raisa. There are other explanations of our Mishnah. Some say Kar of Love doesn't mean that literally Dalat Amos, meaning even 100 Amos away, but she is able to protect it from being harmed. Or there's even a more Machmer opinion that Dalat Amos does not work over here, Shmuel's opinion, which maybe seems to be the Halacha, that she has to be close enough that she can pick it up. Dalat Amos, sometimes you can't pick it up. Um, but according to the prevalent explanation, which is probably accepted Allah, the Dalat Amos works, and it's proven by the end of the Gemara, on Ayin Chedem and is towards the bottom, four lines up from the bottom, the Gemara assumes once it falls into the woman's Dalat Amos, it's Kona. Even if she puts her hand at an angle and it's going to fall off her hand, once it enters the floor, her Dalat Amos, the Gemara assumes it's Kona. So the Gemara doesn't assume Dalat Amos is Kona. It seems to me Del Raisa it's Kona. No one says the Get their Abon. If it's the Get their Abon, so you'd have to come onto a concept like Afkin or Abana Kiddushim, and otherwise she can't remarry. A get there Abana is not really valid, right? Because she's married Al Raisa. How is that get there Abana going to d- d- uh, dissolve a marriage to Al Raisa? So you have to make a chilak between Metziah and Gerish. And I believe Tosos and Masechus from Metziah suggests a, a difference. I don't remember exactly what Tosos says, but I will tell you what I think the difference is. The difference, obviously, is Gitin does not need a Kenyan on the part of the woman, right? The getting is done by Korfa, it's against the will of the woman. You don't need her docs, you don't need her consent. You don't need her consent. You just have to do a physical action into her, into her rishos, into her property. And when you do that, it affects the garrison automatically. So, Dalet Amos, we know from Hilcha Shab is working in Del Raisa, from Havarat Dalet Amos Shorabim, when it comes to Tchumin, Tchumin is Del Raisa, according to Rabbi Akiva. So, Hilcha's, we know at least in Del Raisa, your Dalet Amos, is your place, you know, from COVID, right? Six feet, which basically is Dalit Amos, right? And Amos is about a foot and a half. So six feet, you know, if you remember, two meters, six feet from COVID, that's your place. You don't come within someone someone else's six feet. So that is considered Makomo Shaladam. That's considered a person's place. And Midal Raisa, that belongs to you. And Gerishin does also. The reason by Metsia, it only works with Rabbana. It seems from Mesech by Metsia, a Dalet Amos Konos Lomid Rabban in the Gemara says, I believe, is that by Metziah you need you need Das to be Kona, right? Just like by any Mecca, Mecca Komemka or someone selling a product to you, you need Das to be Makna and Das Kona. You need the Das of the person to acquire. You can't just be acquire something without your knowledge. You have to do something. So using your Dalet Amos, Dalet Amos, that, that space belongs to you, but you have no ability to use that space for my Kenya. I don't have an ability to, it's my, it's my space. But I can't insert my DAS into that space. The space is an inanimate object. It's the ground. It's, it's not movable. It's not something I can control. Since it's not something I can control, so if you need DAS, like by Messiah, you need DAS to be Kona. So the only way we can say it works is that Rabban instituted that it's like somewhere else where it works. Hilchas Shabbos, Hilchas Erevin, and Hilchas Gittin. 
where we know that it works. And the reason it works by Gittin is because you don't need her das. You don't need her das, so therefore it's in the space. All you need is him to put it in her space, in her hand or his space. Yada includes also Chatzera, Gaga, Chatzera, Karfifa, Minai. We learned it yesterday. It includes her space, her personal area. And you put it in her personal area, so therefore the Kenyan happens automatically because you don't need her das. I think that's a simple explanation. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.